Facts First presents Girl waves to officer every day, but when one day she doesn't, he investigates. For most kids, home is where they feel the safest. When they're in familiar surroundings with their loving parents, it's the safest place in their little world. At least that's the way it should be. Unfortunately, it's not always the case. There are parents who neglect their kids, parents who abuse their children, and parents who worry more about their drug habits than their children. This is the way that Clint Scales grew up. It's the true story of the girl who waves to an officer every day, but the day she doesn't wave, his gut tells him he needs to investigate her home. Clint lived in Kansas City, Missouri with her parents and her two brothers. When she was nine years old, she and her brothers were never fed. Her parents often left them alone or slept all day because they were so high on drugs. To feed herself and her brothers, Clint would go to the 7-Eleven down the street to steal food. She knew that it was wrong, but it was the only way the kids could eat. Each day, a police officer would pass by their house when Clint was on the porch. She would wave to him every day. According to Clint, he was one of the only adults that she could trust when she was little. She didn't know the officer's name, but she knew that if anything serious were to happen, that he would probably take care of her. There was one day that the officer passed by her house, but he didn't see Clint waiting there for him. His gut told him that something might be wrong, so he went and knocked on the door. Nobody answered, so he jiggled the doorknob to find the door was unlocked. When he went inside, he found Clint on the floor, barely conscious, and she was having trouble breathing. He quickly scooped her up and took her to the hospital. Turned out the little girl was suffering from severe malnutrition. Had the officer not gone into Clint's house, she likely would have died. Not long after, Clint moved to Texas, and she never saw the officer again. As she got older, she never forgot about what happened, though, and she wanted to find who the officer was that saved her life, and she'd like to thank him personally. But close to 20 years after the incident, Clint, a mother herself now, remained curious about her savior, so she created a post on Facebook to see if she could find him. A woman who worked with the Kansas City Police Department saw her post, and she wanted to help reunite Clint with the officer who saved her life. It turned out it was an officer named Jeff Colvin. When Clint found out who he was, she sent the police sergeant an email. He said that at first he was taken back and was in shock a little. He said that most times as a police officer you help someone and move on. They forget and you forget. This wasn't the case with Clint. In her email, Clint said, I just never thought this would happen, to find my hero. I'm so happy that I was able to thank you in person. I hope one day I can become someone's hero or make a positive impact like you did mine. Clint traveled to see the man who saved her life when she was just nine years old. She knew that if he wasn't the type of police officer to go above and beyond the call of duty, that she would have died that day. She would never have had a chance to grow up, and she would never have been able to have her own two beautiful children. She owed Sergeant Colvin everything. Therefore, she had no problem traveling back to Missouri to let him know. She said that being able to thank him in person was the least she could do for what he did. He impacted her life in the biggest way possible. He saved it. Sergeant Colvin simply said that he couldn't believe that Clint had found him and traveled to thank him in person. He did an interview with the local news where he stated, most times we go through our career without realizing if we truly helped anybody out. Clint made sure that he did know. In fact, he gave her a chance at life which is the greatest gift anyone can give. Subscribe for more!